Hey guys, welcome back to MLP channel. Bernard Hopkins is one of the most successful boxers of the past 30 years, having held multiple world championships. In today's video, let's get to know more about him with us. Let's go! Bernard Humphrey Hopkins Jr., born on January 15, 1965, in Philadelphia, is an American former professional boxer who competed from 1988 to 2016. Nicknamed The Executioner, Hopkins is widely regarded as one of the modern era's greatest fighters, having won 55 out of 67 fights and holding various world championship titles across two weight classes. As of April 2021, he's ranked by BoxRec as the seventh greatest boxer of all time, pound for pound. Born to Bernard Hopkins Sr. and his wife, Shirley, Bernard grew up with his family in the Raymond Rosen housing project in Philadelphia. Hopkins turned to crime early in his life. By the age of 13, he was mocking people and had been stabbed three times. At 17, Hopkins was sentenced to 18 years Greater Fort Prison for ninth felonies. While in prison, he witnessed the murder of another inmate in an argument over a pack of cigarettes, but also discovered his passion for boxing. After serving almost five years, Hopkins was released from prison in 1988. He then decided to ease boxing as an escape from his previous life and converted to Islam. Bernard married his wife, Jeanette, in 1993. The two have been married ever since and have one daughter together, Latrice Hopkins. This family life remained out of the spotlight of his boxing limelight and remained a loving, caring, and peaceful family. Hopkins made his professional boxing debut as a light heavyweight on October 11, 1988, in Atlantic City, New Jersey, but lost to Clinton Michelle. Hopkins continued fighting, winning several matches, but remained mostly unknown as a boxer. He struggled to find meaningful bouts until May of 1993, when he faced off against one of the sport's best, Roy Jones Jr., in a match for a vacant IBF middleweight title. The fight lasted 12 rounds, Bernard losing 116 to 112 by an unanimous decision. However, the public now saw Hopkins as a serious fighter. In April 1995, Hopkins earned the IPF middleweight title by knocking out Segundo Mukado in 7th round. Bernard continued fighting, retained his middleweight title, and on September 29, 2001, Hopkins was challenged by Felix Trinidad for the vacant WBA middleweight title. Hopkins retained his IPF and WBC belts and untied the WBA title. This achievement earned Hopkins Fighter of the Year honors remained undefeated for several years, and in September 2004, Bernard fought Oscar de la Hoya for the WBO middleweight title. Hopkins won the fight by knockout in the ninth round and became the first ever boxer to hold all four major championships. Bernard's streak ended in 2005 when he lost to Jermaine Taylor. In May of 2011, Hopkins defeated Jean Pascal to secure the WBC light heavyweight title. By doing so, he became the oldest world champion in boxing history. Bernard beat his own record 22 months later in a fight that earned him the IBF light heavyweight title at 48. Bernard finally hung up his gloves in 2016 at the age of 52. In the last years of his active career, Hawkins also became a minority partner with Golden Boy Promotions, in which he still remains post-career, nicknamed the Executioner and later the Alien. Hawkins was known among observers for his longevity and ability to continue competing successfully at an advanced age. Widely considered one of the greatest boxers of the modern era, he was a highly strategic and defensive boxer known for carrying good speed and power along with counter-punching skills. 
He credits mastering the boxing fundamentals and great defense with longevity in the sport. He was also a very seasoned fighter, being able to take advantage of a wide variety of situations in the ring and implement rough and dirty tactics while fighting on the inside or in a clinch. In 2011, the ring Ryan Hopkins is third on their list of 10 best middleweight title holders of the last 50 years. As of April 2021, he's ranked by BoxRec as the 7th greatest boxer of all time, pound for pound. Bernard Hopkins has a net worth of $40 million as of 2021. In late 2010, Hawkins suggested that African-American fighters who possessed what he described as a slick inner-city style of fighting would be successful against Filipino boxer Manny Pacquiao. Maybe I'm biased because I'm black, but I think that this is what he said at people's homes and around the dinner table among black boxing fans and fighters. Most of them would say it in public because they're not being real and they don't have a boss to say it. But I do think that a fighter like Ray Lennis or anyone like that would beat a guy like Pacquiao if they come with their game. Listen, this isn't a racial thing, but then again, maybe it is. But the style that is embedded in most of us black fighters, that style will be a problem to any other style fighting. What's your opinion on this? How do you think about our video? Leave a comment and let us know and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to support us. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!